Hello and welcome to the multi-cloud technical series. In this video number 6 I will show Veeam Cloud Connect replication technology from end user and cloud provider perspective, performing a disaster recovery from a local data center to a cloud VM replica. I am switching to cloud provider site, where I previously created Veeam Cloud Connect backup infrastructure, and now going to extend this option to Cloud Connect replication as well. First thing that I need to do is to configure a new hardware plan to share cloud resources with my tenants. I need to specify my local host to share, dedicate some space on the storage, and add network resources to the plan. Once my new hardware plan is created, I should enable my tenant, in this case ABC company, to utilize it. I'm editing this tenant settings, and this time turning on replication resources for it. Within replica resources tab, I'm specifying new configured hardware plan, defining networking, and let the program apply the settings and deploy network extension appliance, which will be handy during failover operations. Now I'm coming back to end user site and rescanning my service provider to get the new options available. And it's time to utilize cloud replication. For this reason, I'm creating a replication job for my Exchange server and targeting a cloud host as a destination for VM replica. I'm going through the rest of the wizard, leaving default job options and launching the initial replication. For the first time, process takes a while, so I'll speed up the video. Now I'm going to replicas and finding my new VM replica in ready state. That means I can use it to emulate a DR test now. I've opened Windows console and pinging my Exchange VM to show that it's available. But what if something has happened with Exchange and it's not available anymore? I'm coming to vCenter console and turning it off. In order to recover the services, I'm going back to Veeam console, navigating to VM replica on cloud provider site and selecting failover now option. The procedure starts just in a few seconds and takes about a minute. Meanwhile, I can see its status and responsiveness of the VM network interface. Once the operation is complete, and VM is responding by my ping requests, I'm going to RDP to the replica VM and double check that it's running fine. As you can see, I've successfully logged in to the VM, proving that failover operation went well. If I come back to VM console, I'll be able to notice ongoing failover and now can either undo it or perform fail back to production. But that's a story for another day. Thank you for watching another Veeam multi-cloud demonstration. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye bye.